In today's video, we're going to talk about all the cards that you guys can invest in for this weekend's games. So just for the video does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, €4 Euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. And I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be talking about all the foot fancy cards that you guys can go and invest in this week for this weekend's games. We're going to talk about what are the probabilities of them getting upgraded. We're going to talk about what ratings are graded. So due to us being on an international football week, it means that the vast majority of foot fancies don't actually play. And because the vast majority of foot fancies don't play, they're not going to be an investment right now for this weekend because I don't personally like buying them and holding on to two weeks because I don't think they're really going to go up much between this week and next week, which as a result means if I did want to go and buy the men, I would just go and buy them next week. Which means the only players that are active this week are going to be the woman foot fantasies. Uh, so we've got players such as Stanway, we've got Martins, we've got Giesi, uh, and so on and so on. So what we're going to do is going to go through all the players uh, that should be good investments, or, you know, yeah, good investments and good gambles, and uh, we'll go through them one by one by one. So the first one we are going to be talking about is going to be Stark. And it's not an overly glamorous investment, but it is a near guaranteed your money. So Stark at the moment is sitting at an 86. An 80, sorry, it's sitting at 12k, which is the price of an 87. Now, if one upgrade, she will go up to an 88, which means she'll go up to 17k. Uh, which means she'll basically go from 12.5 to, it'll probably be about 16.5 slash 17k in a week. What does she need to do to achieve that? She just needs one appearance. Uh, she appears in every game but decides to do absolutely nothing each game because she's generally got about 15 games without a goal and assist. In fact, she has more yellow cards this game than goals and assists, but, you know, she is playing for, I think, the second worst team in the Women's Bundesliga. So, with one appearance this weekend, she is going to go up uh, 3.5k, which, uh, you know, so 4.5k, sorry, which I'd say is uh, pretty, pretty easy coins. And then, you know, if the absolute miracle occurs that she accidentally scores a goal by, I don't know, maybe, God knows what's going to happen for her to score a goal, then she is going to go up uh, a lot more. In fact, she'd go all the way up to 24k. And it does sound crazy to just not back forwards getting goals and assists, but it's just very unlikely. So basically the investment here is that you go and buy her at 12.5, um, and then you go and sell her next week for 17, because all she needs is one assist. And if she, hey, if she gets a goal, that's the easiest, like, what's that gonna be, like 10, 11k per, but it's gonna be very, very unlikely. It's a nice, easy investment, but nothing too exciting. I would say the one thing going for Stark is that they're playing a team somehow even worse than them. In fact, they're playing bottom in the league, so maybe that will work in the favor of her, but you know, like she's 15 games without a goal and assist, you know? In, in those 15 games, she probably would have played against her uh, Duisburg. So, you know, yes, they're playing an absolutely dodgy team here in four days' time, but it's still just very, very unlikely to get a goal and assist, but it's still easy 4.5k. So our second investment is going to be Pasquera. So Pasquera is quite interesting because she's only one clean sheet off an upgrade, she's only one win off an upgrade, and she's only one appearance off an upgrade. Meaning we can basically guarantee that she's going to go up to an 88. Now she's currently sitting at 20k, so she's basically in between an 88 and an 89. So the gamble is her obviously becoming a 89 and above. So for her to become an 89 and above, uh, they need to get a win or they need to go and get a clean sheet. So let's have a little look at Standard Rennie's woman. Now, they are 5th and they are coming against 8th. Now they are on an absolutely abysmal form part of their last game. Whereas their opponents, I mean their form is also not amazing. So a win for them would probably, I'd say, be favourable. Uh, not totally favourable, but favourable. Now again, if she goes and gets an appearance and a win, you're looking at a plus 4k. But the real gamble on this one is, again, appearance and win, plus 4k. Appearance, win, with keeping a clean sheet, which I mean, if you look at Stade de Renice, obviously they're not keeping clean sheets if they're getting losses, and they even conceded a goal last game. So them keeping a clean sheet is unfavourable, but them getting a win is favourable. Um, and her getting an appearance is next to guaranteed. Now, if she goes and gets a win and um, a clean sheet, again, I would say it's an unfavourable outcome, she'll go to 31k. So that's going to be an 11k profit per card if she appears, which again, I wouldn't stress about, they win and she gets a clean sheet. If they're, if she appears and they get a clean sheet, but they don't win, aka a nil-nil draw, still plus 4k. If she appears and they win and they don't get a clean sheet, plus 4k. So, 
as I say, it's, it's a little bit like Stark in terms of the 4k profit per card or 4k rise per card is very likely, but the, you know, the, the extra 5, 6k which you'd get on another upgrade, I'd say it's unlikely, but in the, in the same way, it's kind of a free gamble because of how likely the other outcomes are. It's kind of a free gamble on the uh, the clean sheet. So the next person we have got is Kyle. Now Kyle's uh, conditions to upgrade is her getting one appearance. Uh, and on one appearance, she will go and become an 89 rated card. We can go and see that an 89 rated card is 25k. So, again, a very easy plus 5k. Now, they're not going to go and get 11 goals. And, um, I mean, I think the two wins is probably also unlikely if we go and look who Freiburg have. Freiburg have got Hoffenheim followed by Wolfsburg, which, again, is generally the uh, second and third teams. But, nonetheless, there is still, I'd say, again, quite a risk-free play with her going from, uh, you know, if you get low 19s, going from 19k uh, and going up there to 25k with another upgrade. So we get on to the last gamble, and that is uh, Miedermeyer. Now, it's a bit annoying because earlier in the week, this was looking like a much better investment. But now, later in the week, it's not looking so good of an investment. And the reason for that is because earlier in the week, all 90s were going for 40k, but now some are going for 33. Now, weirdly enough, it's only the Foot Fantasy and the current promo cards that are 33k. It's a very weird trend. Uh, whereas the 90s, even the ones that are still in packs like Courtois, um, Kerr, Hansen, have refused to drop from 40k. So I do find that a very interesting trend. But because Politano's 33, it does make me worry that maybe Mida Minor could drop down that. Now she does have two games left, which means she shouldn't fully be at a risk because if they don't go and win this game, then they're going to win the next one. Her condition to upgrade due to being injured is not going to be goals and assists, is not going to be apps. The only thing that can be done is really on two wins. Now, the next game they play, Arsenal win play against, is Aston Villa. So, that is third versus seventh. Villa not on the best form. Arsenal, I'd be not on the best form for how high, high they up, are up in the table. But, um, yeah, it would be a favourable game. And then they play against Bristol City, which a game they'd be absolutely expected to dominate. But it, uh, it'd be like a two-week hold. I don't really like stuff being a two-week hold. So, yeah, Mina Minor, if she goes and gets upgraded, she gets up to a 91. I mean, she'll probably be about 50, 52k which means you're going to see a 10 to 12k rise if she wins. If they lose, I think she'll go down about 3, 4k, but she'll then rise after that because of how favourable their next game is. So in theory, there's like a 4, 5k risk, but if you just held her out down that 4, 5k drop, she'd rise anyway because, I mean, again, it's third versus last. They'd be so, so favourable to beat them that uh, I'd find it very, very surprising if they don't rebound in the hype. But um, yeah, so there's the last investment in Mida Minor. And that is going to wrap it up. So if you guys do enjoy it, make sure to drop a like because it does uh, let me know that you guys want to see this sort of content um, in the future. You know, sort of like risky gam well, sorry, gambles you can do, but the educated trading plays rather than just degenerate all-in sort of gambles. But that's been that. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.